Hey guys, Two Green Seven here, and I don't know if I go around saying it enough, but I like every single evolution. They're all super cool in concept, design, and personality, so of course I wouldn't mind if Game Freak revealed one or ten new evolutions for Sun and Moon. Now while evidence points out the probability of no new evolutions in Gen 7, I'm still hopeful, and we'll show you guys which EV evolutions I'm most excited to see. In ascending order! So enjoy as I begin with... Number 10 Normal Type I know a lot of people don't see the point of having a normal type evolution, but I think that if every other type is taken, then we might as well have one. A bigger and fluffier EV is the obvious choice. And as my mother always said, if it's obvious, then why are you complaining, you idiot? It's a no-brainer that a normal type evolution would look like the king of the EVs, very elegant and regal, like a Ninetales but like without the fire. But the reason I brought Ninetales up is because its lighter color when compared to its pre-evolved form makes it look pure and wiser, and that's what I want from a normal type evolution. Although Although it doesn't really matter how I speculate, I think it could evolve into this by leveling up with max friendship on the route in which you caught the Eevee while holding a silk scarf. It'll have totally balanced stats and can be called Normalion, Ordinion, or Medion from Medium, which is Latin for average. Or even better, since this Pokemon wouldn't be irradiated and thus mutated like its evolution brothers, it'll be pure and bright, so Lucidion is probably the best choice in name. Number 6, Upside Down Ground Type I mean, Eevee is already brown, so there isn't much of a difference, but many fans have come up with the marvelous idea of having a sand or mud evolution that takes inspiration from the Egyptian Sphinx. It'll look like a pharaoh and have the ability to summon sand. Just forget about the fact that the giant Sphinx is made of stone. Just, just forget it, because it's not a rock type. But Egypt has a desert, and deserts have sand, which is also made of tiny rocks. But the point is, Egypt equals desert, the desert equals sand, and sand equals ground. Maybe a ground-type evolution can turn into sand, just like how Vaporeon turns into water. We can call it Terion, or Alluvion, which comes from Alluvium, the deposit of minerals that makes the area at the tip of the Nile River, or Delta, really nice and fertile. You know, Egypt stuff. Number 8 Bug-type so fortunately, or unfortunately, there are a lot of bugs in the world to inspire such an evolution, so I don't think I can stick with one in particular. We can have a pretty butterfly EV, a poodle moth EV, not a spider EV because I don't want that, but I'm sure it would be the most unique looking evolution because it has to resemble something that isn't mammalian. It also has to be a pure bug type, so if it looks too much like another type, it may not distinguish itself from another evolution. Every single bug type Pokemon really does look like a bug, so it may be hard to find a balance between an Eevee's cute and furry mammal design and, well, this. But antennas, wings, and an extra pair of legs would probably suffice. Insecteon and Entemion are the name choices that immediately come to mind. Number 7 Fighting Type so it seems that every fighting type evolution you can find online has bandages on its legs and I get it. It makes sense, so I'll roll with it. Most of them are quadrupeds, but some are bipedal. And if there was one evolution to stand up, I guess this one makes the most sense. A lot of artists even give it some kind of boxing gear and it works. If Glaceon has dangly things that resemble a snow hat, then the fighting type evolution can totally have a boxing helmet-like design. Our name options are Brawlion, Maleon, Combation, Battalion, or Lucian. Lucian. That'll be its voice. Number 6 Flying type Technically an evolution with some wings would be enough. Of course some aerodynamic ears and maybe some clouds on the neck are obvious choices. It'll be a good looking evolution. In order to receive this Pokemon you have to soar with Latios, Latias, or Charizard and drop your Eevee from the sky. Its desire to fly will kick in and its unstable DNA will allow it to evolve and grow some wings. Hey, if it works for Bagon, it'll work for Eevee. Cool names would be Ethereon, Azurion, Zephyrion, or Arion. They're all glorious names and I wouldn't be surprised if one of those would become official. Number 5 Poison Type We have many options for this evolution. It could be based on poison gases, poison sludge, radiation, or toxins. I'm ruling out Venom because an evolution with long fangs is the last thing I want to see. I mean, I don't want to see a poisoned Eevee either, but wait a minute, I do. That's why it's on the list. But we all know that Eevee has an unstable genetic makeup, so maybe this way an Eevee evolves in order to survive being poisoned. Don't take the following statement too seriously, but maybe it can evolve by having max friendship and leveling up while holding a toxic orb. As if to say, I know I'm poisoned and it hurts really bad, but I love you, so I'm gonna evolve in order to overcome this challenge that we both face. Survival of the fittest! It shall be named Toxion. Number 4 Rock Type I mean, it's just gonna be an Eevee made out of rocks. 
What else would it be? An Eevee with rocks? An Eevee that is a rock? Of course, it could be a diamond Eevee with crystal gems just protruding from its body, like Dark Mewtwo. How is that not the coolest thing ever? If you add rocks sticking out of any body, it looks sick. I mean, literally sick. This thing does not look healthy. Calcyon, Agadeon, or Lithion are all appropriate names. Number 3. Dragon Type Throughout history, mankind has desired the ability to befriend a kind and gentle mammalian dragon. Am I wrong? I've always wanted to be buddies with a small and friendly dragon, and this evolution is perfect for such a dream. But there are two questions we need to ask. Will it be inspired by a European or Chinese dragon? And does this evolution have wings or not? Because it could work both ways. Any of these rad designs would be satisfying. Drachion is the best choice in name, but Wyvion, Basilion, or Hydreon are good too. Number 2 Steel type. There are just too many cool and absurd things you can do with a steel type evolution. It could have gears, it could be a knight, it can have orbs or sharp armor or knives, it can be sleek or bulky. The choice is yours. Actually, you have no say in this whatsoever, but you do have the choice to be a better person and be who you want to be. I'm just trying to make you feel better because once again, we don't work at Game Freak. I mean, if one of you guys actually does, then please fill me in. Possible names are Aluminion, Chromion, Orion, Platinion, Titanion, or just simply Metallion. It works. And the evolution that I'm looking forward to the most is number one, ghost type. This would just be the most interesting evolution, because the other ones don't really need a backstory. This is just an evolution with electricity. This is a water one, this one has psychic powers, and this one is friendly. But a ghost Eevee would be dead, or half dead, I don't, I don't know. Are we gonna address that somehow? Maybe not, but I hope they do when this Pokemon is eventually revealed. Alola has a spiritual vibe going on, so you never know. What evolution are you most hyped about? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out one of these two videos for extra Sun and Moon content, fact videos, and more. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys very soon.